Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be working with the Love Me Hair. They sent me this 5x5 HD Lace Closure wig. And let me just show you guys the inside of the wig. So you have an elastic band already sewn in. And look at the hairline. It's so natural. It's pre-plucked. Knots already bleached. So you don't have to do any work whenever you get the wig. You can literally take it out of the box and just throw it on your head if you want to. This is a straight texture. So I'm just going to be straightening the wig. Let me just tell you guys, this hair was so silky smooth, like, you could literally just run your fingers through it. I did wash mine, so, yeah, it's not, it's, it doesn't look exactly how it came. It came super straight, but I did wash it just because I like to clean my wigs before I put them on my head, majority of the time, unless, um, I just want to show, like, how the wig, how easy it is, but, um, I really like this wig, so I just want to go ahead and clean it up because I plan on wearing it for a little bit longer than just the video so i'm going through and straightening it and just look at how it's straightened on one pass i'm i'm an overpassed kind of girl i like to do like two three times on my wigs just to get it like bone straight especially when that's the look that i'm going for so i do a couple passes but one pass will definitely suffice so i'm just going to be going through and straightening the whole wig and then i'm going to go in and cut the ends because i don't know if you can tell right now but the ends do kind of look a little thin and I just feel like that way to make a wig just take a take a cheaper wig more affordable wig and make it look like a high quality wig it's just to cut the ends make it nice and blunt or it doesn't have to be a blunt cut just go in and make the ends look thicker by cutting them and it just takes the wig up like five notches so I went in and did that and kind of did like a little face framing type of situation. I don't even know what you would call it. But I did that super simple wig install. I did not do much. You guys are going to see how nice it looked towards the end. And yes, I really love this wig. I'm going to have the link down below for it. Um, to Love Me's website. Everything down there. I'm going to also have my Depop link because I do sell my wigs. Resell them on Depop whenever I'm done with them. Now, I'm not sure if this one's going to be on there. I'm not really sure because I'm trying to like build up a little wig collection. Because I don't have a wig collection. Like I get all these wigs but I keep none of them. So I don't ever have a wig to throw on if I need one. So I don't know yet. I don't know. But yeah and look at the lace the lace is just so nice like i love the way the lace looks lace was so thin and invisible it just like literally blended in but yeah like i was saying the link to love me's website will be in my description box i will have my depop linked in my description box and i think that's all i have to link yeah it is unless you guys want the link to this flat iron it's a babyless um nano titanium i believe because i get a lot of questions about what type of flat iron i use babyless nano titanium or the other way around i'm not sure but if you are not subscribed please hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it if you did subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you like how the wig turned out if you like how the wig look if you like love me hair and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys